welcome back to my channel. It's your girl Morena Gale, and today I'm trying out another product from Black Radiance. And yeah, I'm so excited. So it's actually their loose setting powder in the shade Banana. Super cute. I got it from Target. Target. And I actually got, I was looking in the bag and I realized I got the Selena DVD too. But all that aside, and then I also got some of their lip products, but I'm going to be trying that out in a different video because today is all about the loose setting powder. And apparently it's new. If you guys haven't seen any of my other videos about Black Radiance, I'm pretty, well, I'm fairly new to trying out stuff from this brand. This is the third thing I'll be trying out. When I picked it up in Target, I noticed that even though it's new, some of them, like, the logos were already faded. I was just like, how did that happen? Why are they faded? Like, what? But I tried to pick the best looking one. So this is what mine looks like. I got it for $7.99, which I don't think is a bad price at all. But I was so upset because I went on Target.com after I purchased it and I realized they were selling it online for $6.59. So I could have saved a whole dollar and 40 cents. So when you open it up, it has a little cheapy cheapy powder puff in it. I actually like keeping these though. I don't use them all the time, but if I'm in a pinch, definitely useful. Um, yeah, so it comes with these. It's pretty large, the lid. <laughs> the entire thing is pretty large. It has a little safety plastic guardy thing. And it says, application, shake a small amount of each powder into caps, twirl powder brush in cap, and tap off excess powder. Okay, cool. So I'm just gonna take this off. I know it has to have this, but I hate it. There's not going to be any flashback with this product. It's not supposed to clog our pores and it describes it as a light reflecting powder and it's supposed to blur imperfections. That's a lot of claims for a setting powder though, I'm not gonna lie. There are like many more, that was just a few of them. And then obviously the main claim is that it's supposed to set your makeup for all day wear. So I've tried banana powders before. I like sticking with, um, whoa. Okay, a lot comes out, so you don't have to shake out too much. But, um, yeah, I don't know. I prefer translucent powders, but I, I like banana powder, so we'll see how this works. I haven't concealed. I know you guys are probably looking at me like, why does your face look so wonky? It's because I didn't put any concealer underneath my eyes or anywhere else on my face. So I'm just going to do that now. I'm going to use my Sephora Bright Future Gel Serum Concealer. I'm just going to conceal a little bit. If you guys haven't seen my NARS Radiant Creamy vs. Sephora Collection Concealer, you should totally check that out because I love this concealer. I talk all about it in that video. And I'm just going to blend out my concealer with my Fenty Beauty Sponge. Okay, so I just blended out that concealer and I'm going to add some underneath my eyes. We're going to bake so we could really put this setting powder to the test. I don't want to set any creases. Ooh. Okay. Wow. Okay. This is cool though. I like it. This powder has a lot of coverage. I only put a little bit and it's wow. This eye crease is so bad so I'm trying to make sure I don't set any creases. So to contour my nose a little bit, I'm just gonna tap the powder along the sides of my nose. And I like doing this not just to contour, but to control the, um, the oils. Because my nose gets really, really oily. And then I also like to take a little bit of the powder that I use and put it above my brows. Because my brows get super oily. I know this is crazy. I'm baking my brows, but trust me, it's essential for me. And then I also like to set my smile lines. Look at pretty bad because I smile a lot. To really test out this powder, I'm gonna cut my contour, which I don't really do often, but hey, let's try it. That's what my girl do. Mm, also, I've been loving this contour, um, 
this contour thingy palette from Black Radiance. I've been using it all the time. I like using this shade as like, I don't know, to contour my eyes, contour my eyes. Kind of use it like a shadow, but really contour my eyes. And I love using this everywhere else on my face. It just, oh, looks so good. I also have a video on that too. I'll leave the little eye up here. You guys should check it out though. See how, I don't know if you guys realize, but my forehead just sucked up all of that powder. Up here it gets so oily for me. I love how huge this is though. I feel like I'm never gonna run out. There's so much in here. I mean, how much is in here? Okay, there's 20 grams of product. 0 0.7 ounces of product in here. That's quite a lot. All right, so I'm just gonna let it sit for like five minutes and then I'll come right back and show you guys when I dust it off and such. Ooh. I'm back. So it's been a little bit over five minutes. So I'm just gonna go ahead and dust it off with my huge powder puff brush from Kiko Milano Cosmetics or just Kiko Milano, right? Kiko Milano. So let's see. Don't worry about my eyebrows, you guys, it's okay. I put on um, eyebrow gel and it just comes right off. Okay, so this is what it looks like when I just ooh, dust it off. I'm gonna finish the rest of my face and come back. I am gonna do um, some flash tests and I'll insert the pictures to show you guys what it looks like because girl, we gonna see if this has flashback or not because mm, you can't just believe what they see on their website. You guys, I'm so crusty. I was like, oh, I'm gonna finish the rest of my face and come back. All I did was add highlight to my um, cheekbones and put on brow gel. Like, I could've just done that on camera. I thought like I had a lot more to do. But anyways, I am, even though it looks really good, I'm gonna add a little Fix Plus. I just wanna look, like I don't mind looking mad, but I just love a dewy look a little bit more. Just gonna fan that in with my Selena. Do you guys love Selena too? Okay, thumbs up this video if you love Selena Kendani. I love Selena. Oh my god, I listen to her music all the time. All the time. Like this video if you guys also still watch DVDs. Am I still, I feel so old school. I can't believe they're trying to get rid of DVDs. It breaks my heart. Like, okay, I obviously, I lived through the whole VHS era and that VHS area, the VHS era and that broke my heart. But they're really about to get rid of DVDs? Like, I saw DVDs become a thing, and now they're literally gone. That's wild. I'm gonna insert those pictures for you guys. I'll probably pop them here, um, so you guys can see, like, whether it has flashback or not. But, from what I can just see in front of my face, you guys, I'm looking in the mirror, that's why I keep looking over here. My under eyes have never looked this, like, creaseless. It's never looked so... So beautiful. You guys know the word beautiful. You guys probably watch Whaley. Shout out to Whaley. I love Whaley was one of the very first YouTubers I ever watched. And I, I still watch. Oh my god, Whaley. And I watch Wild too. Anyways, anyways, my under eyes look amazing. I feel like it made my skin look so beautiful. And cutting my contour, I think it looks so natural. I thought it was gonna look all fake and stuff, but mm. I really like it, it looks good. So I give this Traces of Powder a thumbs up. I totally recommend it. If you guys can get it for the $6.59, that's amazing. I feel like you get so much product in here. Black Radiance needs to come out with a translucent one too though, because I would definitely buy that. I think this is the only uh, shade they have, the banana. But I really like it, I like it a lot. Um, thank you guys so much for watching as always. <sighs> Like, I started crying last night because I reached 100 subscribers, and thank you guys. Thank you guys so, so much. It, it honestly means the world to me that you guys are supporting me the way you are. And I know, like, it's just 100. People are like, 100 is nothing. But 100, it just means the world to me. So, yeah, but subscribe if you haven't already. Like this video, please. It really helps me out a lot. And, yeah, I can't believe we have 100. There's a hundred of us! There's a hundred of us! A little familiar! Like, oh my god! 
Mesitos. See you guys in my next video.